Hello, welcome back. I am still on this topic of mind musing, musing of the mind. Now I was doing my Kundalini practice today and very aware of how much was showing up for me around how much I've shifted since I began this practice. And specifically, since I decided to start to practice daily. And in Kundalini Yoga, we refer to that as sadhana. It's your daily spiritual practice. And it's just like taking a shower every day. We're cleansing the subconscious of the residue that we may have picked up from the previous day. And it's so interesting how our minds can have this tendency to like replay all of our past experiences. I used to have this personally um, when I had a really stressful job. I would lay down at night and I was just getting comfy and I would start to think about every single thing that happened that day. And I'd start to remember like, oh, you forgot to do this and you should have said that. And it was like exhausting. And I remember reading the book, The Power of Now, way back in like 2008. And there being this huge realization of like, that is not a strength, Marie Louise. That is a hindrance. And how stressful that is for the nervous system to be anywhere but the present moment. And so my question for you is, do you notice the cues from your nervous system that let you know that you veered off from the present moment? And sometimes it feels uncomfortable to be fully present with yourself until you establish that as a, as a groove, as a habit that feels natural, especially if we have been <clears throat> conditioned to constantly be looking in the past, looking in the future, and avoiding the present moment. And I know I talk about Kundalini yoga a lot because it has helped me with that more than anything. Because you can read books, you can listen to other people's stories, uh, you can take in other people's experiences. But until you embody that, until you learn how to really allow yourself to be that, to immerse yourself, to integrate those teachings, that wisdom, it will often feel unnatural, which is fine. We all start somewhere, yeah? And for me, it's been a journey to get back to being fully present with myself. And of course, that isn't something that happens 24 hours a day, but it definitely happens way more than it used to. And I'm way more aware when I'm deviating from that. And being present in this moment allows us so 
much. It is this state of receptivity. And I had this awareness when I was walking through the forest yesterday that the masculine energy is the mind, the feminine energy is the body, and the unity of those two is spirit. And in Kundalini yoga, we're constantly weaving together those three elements. And there's lots of other practices that do that as well. Um, I obviously love Kundalini yoga and it is for anyone, but it's not for everyone. So find what you love and create more space for that in your life. Choose to allow yourself to have more of that. And what if, what if you could conserve all the energy that you spend going back into the past to think about things that are already done, there's nothing you can do about them and they might even not be real at this stage. Because our memory sometimes is less clear than we believe it to be. And what if you could recoup all of the energy that you spend projecting into the future Hi, Jyoti, all of your what ifs. And what if you could be right here right now and create it all from this place of presence? When your nervous system feels safe, when there are no threats present in your environment, you have an infinite, infinite capacity to create. There is this exponential flow of energy for you to tap into. Universal life force energy we all have access to it. This is why affirmations can be so powerful for people because it brings you into the present moment and starts to reprogram your subconscious mind. But what if you got even deeper than that? What if you embody those beliefs by training your nervous system through embodiment practices? What if you could flip the script through allowing your body to process and integrate all of that disconnected energy, all of the incomplete circuits, all of the distractions that left something in limbo. What if you had a tool to clear out your residue? And what if you chose to do it every single day, even if it was only for three minutes a day out of 24 hours? Can you choose you for three minutes and commit to that every single day? 
So this is the stuff, the stuff that uh, we will be exploring and sharing together in the new series coming up. Quantum Creatrix, faith it till you create it. And I will love to have you join us. I do have an introductory price and it is three Sundays from 7 to 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. The sessions are online. So it's six hours of connection and tools and embodiment practices and other magical ways of shifting your frequency for a super, super reasonable exchange. So if you desire to invest in you and explore your beliefs, faith, and nervous system cues, consider joining us. My details are below. You can send me an email and I will love to hear from you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being you and thank you for being brave enough to be human so much love Mwah. please come back again